Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. This is Ona and in this video we're going to be exploring the energies of the March 2022 equinox in a multitude of ways. I've been receiving massive downloads around it and uh, so I'll be sharing with you a piece of artwork that explains these energies, some Akashic downloads, numerology, oracle reading, and also some spirit animals that have come forward to support these energies and hang on to the end because I'll be pulling an angel card as well. So that's a lot of stuff to cover. This may be a long one, so settle in, grab yourself a drink, maybe some popcorn, and let's get started. So let's start with some art. This is a painting that I did a couple weeks ago and without thinking about what it would be about I just tuned in and as I was painting I realized oh yeah this is the energies of the equinox. It's um, because I live in the northern hemisphere of uh, just all this life force coming up right the sun being prevalent and a lot of this kundalini kind of energy right with this plant forms but when the title came in for me that's when it really struck me that well this is something really powerful and that's when i started feeling like this is going to be a very very powerful equinox and actually i have been feeling the energy around this equinox for months and months <laughs> um so the title that came in that it wants to be called is the eden impulse Okay, so every spring equinox, you're going to have this kind of burgeoning energy, this life force coming up out of the ground and really starting to manifest. But when we start talking about Eden, that takes it to another level. So I'm looking at this equinox and, and we're going to look at the numerology <laughs> to see how powerful this is. But the planetary, the Gaia consciousness is really rising right now and really ready to seriously take root, which is already happening. But I'm feeling like this equinox portal is really going to shift that into high gear. And this is so super important to recognize at this time, because you've, I'm sure, heard me, if you've been following me, talk about the bifurcation. You may have heard others talking about it, but we've got this dual energy happening on the planet right now with the old matrix crumbling and going down and the new Earth energies coming up. Okay, so this is really speaking to us of those new earth energies that we're a part of as star seeds as light workers right and what is telling me is that this is alive and well and ready to really spring into life this is the energy of the ascended earth right um just this incredible vibrant healthy life just exuberantly springing forth <laughs> out of the darkness towards the light it's just incredible energy and i'm feeling that a lot i hope that you are too because this is what we're here for right is we are here actually planting the seeds for this visualizing it and creating it. So that's the art portion of this transmission. It was the first thing to come through and it came through very powerfully. I will be making that painting available for sale on my website as the original and the print. I'm feeling there may be one person who's really meant to have that original painting, but it'll be available as a print as well. And I'll leave the link in the description below. Next, I want to share an Akashic download, and this will be the, the first of a couple that I'll be sharing here in this video. Um, I asked my Akashic guys to explain the energies of the March 22-22 equinox, and they said, these are energies of strength and power. The sun moves into Aries, ruled by Mars. This equinox is a portal through which those who are ready to step into their power and who choose to do so will be gratefully assisted. So we know this is a powerful portal, and I think it's interesting to talk about. They're just talking about power. They're not talking about the polarity of the power, okay? So just walking into this portal with awareness that this is like a step-up transformer for, for, for power, and it can go either way, right? Uh, wherever that power is 
aligned. It, it, it can be amplified if it's used with intention. So I'm feeling like it's super important for those aligned with light at this time to really, really open oneself to divine guidance at this time. And we'll talk a little bit more when we get to the reading, reading portion about that. Okay, so this is an extremely powerful portal, but let's look at the numerology of it because this will explain just how amazingly powerful this portal is. The 2022 March Equinox takes place at 333 UTC on 320-2022. Okay, so UTC or Coordinated Universal Time, according to Wikipedia, is the primary time standard by which the world regulates clocks and time. So right away, this is really telling us that this is a very important collective juncture in time, a collective potential for a collective timeline shift. So we have 333 3 20 2022 this is double 33 right we have four threes and four twos double 33 and double 22 these are master numbers and taking place at this auspicious time of the equinox it's an extraordinarily powerful combination of number codes and what does this mean to have a double 33 and a double 22 well, I'm not an advanced numerologist, but I can give you the basics. And if any of you have insights to share above and beyond what I'm sharing here, please do share these in the comments in the video below. Um, so 33 and 22 are both master numbers. These are the powers of three and a two respectively doubled. And here we've got two pairs of master numbers. So the master numbers themselves are doubled, right? This is two times two. So there's a lot of power of four here as well. We've got the master number four kind of here in the background. So let's look at these master numbers. The master number 22, if you'll recall from my 222 video, 22 is known as the master builder number. So basically, it's the energy of 11, of spiritual awareness, which is in itself a master number, combined with the compounded energy of 2, which is partnership and balance. And finally, the energy of 4 works in there too. So practical, hardworking, responsible, all this combines for incredible manifestation power. That's why they call it the master builder. It's actual physical infrastructure. It's talking about manifesting things on the earth. So we're talking new earth infrastructure really coming into, into play here. So 33 is also a powerful master number. It's the number three doubled. And what does three mean? It's the number of the divine child. It's joy, it's magic, it's life force energy, and especially love. Okay, so this painting here, uh, this Eden impulse, right? It's got that rising kind of childlike, uh, new new life energy and the sun the solar energy the love um, heart force right this is heart chakra big 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 heart chakra stuff okay 33 combines these qualities of three with the spiritual awareness of 11 and it also resonates with the number six st standing for family and harmony 33 is known as the master teacher number and supports any activity that guides others towards healing and enlightenment, including channeling. And maybe that's why 33 is considered the number of Christ consciousness. Okay, but here we have the power of these two super potent master numbers, not only doubled but combined, right? 22, the master builder, 33, the master teacher. And as I said, there's also this number 44, master number 44 that's floating around the background. I'll get, I have a huge download around that that I'll share in just a sec. So, so right now, of course, in, is the time of reckoning. In a way, it's end times because of this old order coming down. The old matrix crumbling, we can see that happen. All you have to do is to tune into the news. <laughs> um, 
But what the mainstream news is largely not showing us is that while the stuff is coming down, there are thousands of star seeds out there who are busily getting a head start on the reconstruction. Okay, that's this master builder energy. It's also the master teacher energy. Okay, we're laying the foundation for the new earth, building the infrastructure, planting the seeds, both in terms of physical, actually sometimes literal planting seeds. <laughs> you might know that I'm really starting to get into food forests. And, um, but also the seeds of the mind, right? Planting the seeds for what the future of humanity is going to look like. And here we have the super manifesting energy of 22 amplified and combined with the super powerful spiritual evolution energy of, of 33. And it's this a potent com combination to support this process of renewal as we move deeper into this time of transition. So let's go into this energy of 44, okay? Because we're looking at 22 and 22 and 33 and 33, okay? So that's one, two, three, four. Four sets of master numbers. Up until now, there's only been like the meaning known of the first three master numbers. The first one, 11, the number of spiritual awakening. The second one, 22, the master builder. The third one, 33, the master teacher. And as I was meditating on this during a run the other day, what came to me like a lightning bolt was 44 is the meaning of this is going to be coming into play now because we're moving into a new age and it's the age of the heart, the expansion of the heart. We're opening up a new chakra in the consciousness of Gaia, moving into the heart space. And four is this number of grounding, of foundations, right? And the, the intuition, the message that came through loud and clear was this is the number of order and it's the number of natural law. So we're coming into the time of natural law. This is what humanity is working on at the time, is this mastery of natural law. And when a critical mass of humanity begins to understand and align with natural law, that's when we're going to have this actual heaven on earth, right? So the work of this coming age it has all wrapped up in natural law and in aligning with an understanding of natural law. So 44, what I'm feeling is 44 is the master order number or the master law number, right? Um, so just kind of keep that in mind and I will be sharing a lot about natural law. I've already started a playlist on natural law, which you can check out here. And stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe now because I will be sharing more videos on natural law in the coming months. Let's take a look at what we can do personally, how we can navigate these energies to make the most of them, to really align with these energies in a positive way. The first thing I want to share with you is a reading that I did a couple nights ago. This is just a collective reading for this March 20th, 2022 equinox, and I'm using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck from Colette Baron, Baron Reed. This is a three card reading, so looking first at the energies that we're in now, the energies of the past that have brought us here. The card that came up was the Sun Dancers in reverse. Okay, um, I'm going to show you this card. I'm going to show it to you right side up. All right, um, but remember it came up in reverse. So there's this almost kind of dragonfly looking angel here and um, like a lot of solar energy. But remember it's coming up in reverse. This is energy that I feel like we're ready to break through from. Um, this is the collective energy of worry. So we've got the media narrative that is really pushing the fear agenda. And so there's a lot of this kind of fear, worry energy in the earth, right? Um, when cards come up in reverse in a negative way, often I will turn them up, up right side up. Remember the law of polarity that with every, any energy, there's, there's an opposite energy happening, right? And so we can recognize that the, any whatever dark or worry energy in there, it's got its companion energy, its opposite polarity that's at work 
present as well. Okay, all we have to do is turn our mind to that um, in order to activate the positive part of this. Okay, um, so sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. Okay, this is solar energy we're talking about, and uh, wherever solar energy has been perverted or inverted. This is ready now to be brought to light, right? Okay, the second one, second card is the card for the present, right? And this is looking at this equinox. So this is the card pretty much for this equinox time and offers clues as to how we can really make the most of this. So the, it's, the card is the eyes of beauty. And again, there's this dragonfly that shows up. It's a little dragonfly right there and another one right there. Um, dragonfly, I'll talk about in a, a bit, is a really powerful spiritual spirit animal that's been coming forward for this whole juncture. Um, so there's this beautiful woman and she's looking straight at you, right? The eyes of beauty. And I see the number four in her. Right. Look at the 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 right angle of her arms, and she's very strong. She has confidence, and she's got her eyes wide open. Okay. So what this is telling me is that this is going to be an amazing time for really visualizing. Okay. First of all, opening their awareness and just being completely open and accepting of what's happening right now. Compassion is huge right now, right? Um, knowing that we're in the process of a breakdown and a reconstruction, just bearing witness to everything that's there, recognizing that it's all here, <laughs> all everything that's happening right now is contributing to this process and just being aware of, of all that's going on around you. Okay, not being afraid to look into the shadows, right? This is, uh, she's in the dark, right? And, but she's fearlessly looking forward. So courage and fearlessness, big one. Um, and interesting that she's got a veil on her face, right? So she's not speaking out. She's actually just observing. So I'm looking at this time as being a beautiful time to be in observer mode and also to, um, you know, what she says in the guidebook is really perceive the beauty of everything that's happening, right? Take a really big step back, big picture time. And big picture means not only, you know, awareness of what's happening, but also awareness that we are creator beings and we can use our vision, right? The eyes represent also the third eye and our capacity to visualize that is the first step in creation so this is an incredible time right now to sit down and especially if you can right on the equinox sit down and and you know what's your vision what's your vision for yourself for your highest potential really bring that into a very clear picture for yourself write it down write down what you're here for and let your soul speak through also visualize what are we building think about your promise for the earth what is your promise what does the earth look like in 500 years in 5000 years okay i have a picture of a just earth exploding with flowers and happiness and vegetation and joy and just this heart wide open planet of Gaia in her full strength and health and vitality and all the people and animals, all the beings on her just brimming with life. That's my vision for humanity and for the planet. And I'm thinking forward 500, 5,000 years from now. Okay. So this is a beautiful time, whatever your vision is, whatever it is for you, visualize that now. It's super powerful at this time. And that last card to come up, and it's number 16. And I think these numbers are also very important. Um, the first one that came out, the Sundancers, is number 32. Remember, we're working with the energies of 33 and 22. So that number is really significant. Um, the Eyes of Beauty, the number here is 25. That is 5 squared, right? That is it has some 55 energy to it. Okay, so this is uh, 5 being the energy of transformation. Okay, and then the Shadow Queen coming up 
in reverse as this is the energy that we're moving into now. Okay, the number is 16, and that is four squared. So there again is that 44 energy in this. It's coming up as reverse. Now, the Shadow Queen is a very, very interesting card to come up, okay? And what this is telling me in reverse is that we are moving into a collective descent. And I think this is pretty obvious by now. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of us have sensed this coming, but this this card is really bringing this to the forefront. And don't be afraid of this, okay? Look how strong she is in looking at the future, right? And this number four that she is holding in her body, number of stability, right? Um, this is the underlying order that she's showing us that is here, that as all this stuff, everything that's coming crashing down, that's all made of illusion, okay? So it's the underlying order that's able to come forward, but in order to get there, in order to really bring that into manifestation, we may have to go into this descent process, and this is part of the solar journey, it's part of the soul journey, is the descent into the underworld, right? Uh, we see that in the um, the way the sun moves every day and goes down and comes back up the, with the resurrection. We see it in the way the sun moves in the year, going down and back up into a resurrection in the spring. And this is uh, the soul journey as well. Uh, um, so many of the hero stories, whether it be um, Isis and Osiris and Horus, or uh, Jesus Christ, or um, Persephone, so many of these hero stories involve the descent going into the underworld, right? And then facing the shadow, overcoming the shadow, and rising back up, okay? We cannot come into this springtime, right, without having been first gone down into the depths, gone down into the darkness, and then we spring back up. So don't be afraid of this. Whatever we're seeing in the news, whatever it is, we'll come through it stronger and bringing light forward. Okay, so let's look at this Shadow Queen energy, right? I'm going to um, read to you from her guidebook just a little bit. Shadow Queen showing up as a challenger. The Shadow Queen gently asks you to address your innermost character flaws with compassion. For now, it's time to bring your wounded self and hidden agendas into the light. You are seeing the tangible results of those aspects of your nature that have evolved in response to the difficulties in your life. They've been a means to help you survive. Super important, and I think this is really talking to the collective right now, um, but it's also talking to each and every one of us, and many of us have done a lot of shadow work. There will likely be more at this juncture, okay? so. She's it's just like, don't be afraid of this. Lean into it, okay? Address your innermost character flaws with compassion. This is a beautiful time to really look with honesty at yourself and without beating up on yourself, recognizing that whatever, you know, aspects of yourself you're ready to let go of, that was there to protect you, okay? So acknowledging it, thinking it, and really seeing it for what it is, okay? Um, she says, perhaps you're falling prey to insecurity marked as elitism and arrogance, believing that you know best. Perhaps you're falling prey to comparing yourself with others or to being fearful and self-sabotaging. You may have been taught that manipulating others rather than being direct is the way to get your needs met. The Shadow Queen reminds you that manipulation in any form isn't the best method of getting what you want. Another meaning can also that can also apply is the possibility that you are being affected by someone else's wounded self. Perhaps you are the one being manipulated. Whatever the case, it's time to take a fearless personal inventory and observe what part you play in the dramas and potential disasters in your life. When you come to the place of humility, forgiveness, and grace, then you may proceed again and walk into the light. There is great value and strength in facing your own shadow in the realm of the Shadow Queen. All right, and we can so see this playing out in the collective right now. But let's take a look at the Shadow Queen figure because she is a light worker. Look, she's descending into the darkness. She's holding this light. And I feel like it's super interesting 
um, to, to look at these two images uh, compared to each other because they are in some ways they're they've got these polar opposite um, feelings to them right which means that using the both of them is is using both polarities right it's it's working in oneness and wholeness okay um, she's like observing she's got the the veil over her face she's not expressing right here the shadow queen the veil has come over her eyes right here she's looking very clear at 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 you know her clear vision she's really got a vision um here her eyes are obscured what this is telling me is like if we spend the time and take the time to really look with honesty at ourselves look the shadow in the face and to develop our powerful vision of what we're creating then as we start to descend into the underworld descend into the darkness at this time um we are going to have that vision right there in front of us and no matter what is pulled over our eyes whether it's the media trying to distract us whether it may be uh, internet blackouts or whatever comes our way we'll have that vision of light that's already imprinted in us so we can navigate in the dark we are light workers see how she's bringing this lantern into the darkness and she has her own internal gps she's got her own internal light that's lighting the way and she is leading the way through the darkness right um she's the one that is really this powerful figure the shadow queen and remember she's got that energy of the four um the 16 the four doubled the 44 Okay, so what this is just really bringing forward here right now, if you haven't yet faced your shadow, and there's a part of every one of our uh, shadows, no matter how much your shadow work you've done that you ha we haven't faced yet, now is the time to really fearlessly look at the shadow side because that's how we connect with our deepest light that cannot be snuffed out by any darkness that's what we're bringing through here okay a couple more pieces of akashic awareness here akashic guidance for navigating this portal one is devotion this is something that's really coming forward for me very very strongly the concept of devotion and this is so critical to facing the shadow and navigating the darkness okay the devotion what are you devoted to and the willingness to devote oneself fully and completely to the light to the inner self to whatever we want to devote ourselves to the planet the gaia consciousness right for you it may be devotion to family it may be devotion to to maybe a particular deity that you're working with right um whatever it is find your devotion because with devotion comes courage when we're fully and completely devoted to something right we have the courage to move through anything right um, so me personally, I'm so fully devoted to serving Mother Earth, and uh, that's what's pulling me through right now. The second one is awareness, and I want to share with you a download uh, from my guides. And this is one that came through just recently. Do not be distracted by dark agendas. You are aware of the powers of anti-life active in this world. They are what they are. To focus too hard on them gives them power. Know the law of vibration and hone your awareness of vibration. Recognize lower vibrational energies even when they wear sheep's clothing. Call them out, see them for what they are, and ask for guidance from your lion self. Stay focused on what you are here to do. Okay, and that leads us to a couple of spirit animals that are really supporting the human collective at this time. One is lion. And when I asked my Akasha guides about supporting energies for March 2022, the first thing they said was lion spirit animal. They said March comes in like a lion, but need not go out like a lamb. Rather combine the lamb and the lion energies, fierceness and innocence, gentleness and strength, trust and focus. 
This is the time foretold when the lion lies down with the lamb. You are sowing the seeds for this. It happens first within your own hearts. The sheep is generous, giving a cornucopia of love and benevolence, the part of you that gives and loves unconditionally. The lion within you must learn to be a divine protector of the flock rather than feeding off of it. The lion now comes into his true birthright as a solar being, knowing that for him, all nourishment, all strength, all power comes through the central sun. Okay, that's the devotion to that. This is about a divinely ordained leadership, harnessing the strength, the power, courage, and solar consciousness of the lion for the benefit of all humanity. And we're going to start seeing lion souls coming forward here on this planet. Uh, we're, uh, I'm already starting to see them come forward. It's going to accelerate. Maybe you are one. The other creature that's been coming forward strongly to support us through this time is dragonfly. And this is the energy of transformation of maturity, of joy, of mastery, and of magic. And you can call on either one of these animals at this time to assist you. They will vibrate into your field when you call on them and help you to maintain a high vibration of the qualities that they possess. So even just thinking of these animals will help this to happen and will help to support your vibration through these times. I'm going to pull an angel card just to close this video and to call on the angelic realm for support as we move into this incredibly powerful portal for the rising of the consciousness of humanity and just asking that all of us be supported fully and held in the light as we move into here. So helping us to remember who we are as children of the sun, as beings of light, and to remember and be guided on our soul mission, bringing light, guiding lights through the darkness, right? Here's the card that wants to come forward. Beautiful. It is crystal clear intention. I love this. Never forget why we're here, what we're building, hold that in your mind, target that, and really, really, really focus on that. All else will just, you know, once we have that, really focus in our minds and trust that we're supported and guided, everything is going to fall into place in perfect divine order. Enjoy this March 2022 equinox and remember you were born to be free.